So now in your passion project, you're ready to start collecting information. While an encyclopedia is a great place to start, doing an internet search is also extremely helpful. And right in your Google Documents, there's a tool available for you that you can do research. If you go to Explore, it's going to pop up a tab right here for you. Let's say I'm interested in learning more about how to care for a horse. So we talk about that Googleable question. Look what starts to happen. I start to get pop-ups here. All kinds of information. That's quite a bit. I can also then, within this tab, I can click on a link and go right to it. It'll open a new tab. Now, of course, I'm remembering all of my information on evaluating whether this is a reliable resource or not. If I start to find information that I think, wow, I like this. Nutrition. One of the things that we tend to get trapped into is copying and pasting. We know how to do it. I can copy all of this information. I can hit control C. I can come back to my document Oops. and I can hit control V to paste it. That's super easy. Is this any of my original thinking? No, it's not. Not at all. So if I'm doing any kind of copying and pasting, I need to make sure that I am, of course, indicating that this is not my original information. So I might highlight it in some way. I might also then add where I got the information. Information found at, and then this is where I can go back and I can copy and paste my link. And I can put it right on there. And it's always important to put the date that I retrieved the information. Okay, so if I happen to use this information later, I can go back to the source. And I know that if I've highlighted it, then I've clearly copied it from someone else. And I don't want to use their intellectual property without making sure that I give them credit. Now, of course, I can also search for images. Or, say I search something more general. Got a lot I can search for. Wikipedia is something that comes up often. And there's a lot of debate about Wikipedia and the effectiveness of it as a research tool. I never mind looking towards Wikipedia to particularly help me get ideas. Um, keep in mind that often Wiki Wikipedia is not verified. So if I'm looking at Wikipedia, I never use it as a source of information. But rather often, like I said, it'll take me to different types of keywords to give me ideas. And then it can help me with further searching. That's not to say that information on Wikipedia isn't valid and true. But again, if you go back to your rule of finding something on several other resources, that helps. And so this is how you can start collecting general information to help you 